Dragon Ball Z Final Hope. I mean, um, Path to Power. Apologies. But this game is two years in the making now, technically. Because Final Hope was the predecessor, and you can really see it in, in the map, at least. You'll see what I mean if you played it or haven't. I'll just show you. But anyways, they have a lot of cool characters here. You have androids, humans, all this stuff. And instead of Final Stand it being like stats, they get abilities like key control. It's a lot like the bog if you've played the bog. So yeah, we just got a bunch of new shit, basically. Excuse my sailor mouth, I didn't mean to say that. But anyways, this, this looks a lot like Final Desire. If you don't know what that is, that's fine. It's a game that wasn't really public at all. It was all privated. But it, you know, it doesn't look exactly up to date, which is to be expected. It's made by one person. But still, you know, it's going to kind of curious how far this is going to go. And I figured out here that when you're stuck on a question like this, you have to actually hold down the talk button again to get out of it. It was pretty annoying, but it's not that bad. But all the NPCs seem to have that little feature, so that's... And to fly, I found that like just spamming the jump button and like holding down or clicking shift really fast usually works. You know, that too can be a bit interesting, I suppose. And for the first quest, there isn't a marker, but there is a marker in the game. They're like these red dots. When you accept the quest, I'll show you like where to go with like a red circle. We're about to see here in a minute. But yeah, so what you want to do early is just do all the quests like it tells you tells you to do like go to the beach go to the beach talk to the people do this quest and at level 15 you can go into HTC I flew up there at the end of the video it says level 15 I don't know if it actually works because I don't know if I can play this game it is so far kind of a snooze fest I won't lie but it reminds me a lot of Zenkai Origins but kind of worse I'm hoping that has a lot in store when I do play it, but uh, yeah, so far, first impressions are uh, not that great, I suppose. And there we go. Boom. Easy. We leveled up. That's what looks like to level up. Very simple, but sometimes, hey, simple is better. Anyways, while I was doing that, here's something you should know. The lock-on doesn't really work that well. I, it, like, it didn't seem to affect anything at all. And second of all, the combat... I can't tell if there's a difference between Zenkai Origins. It seems about the same, pretty much. Which, you know, is a little interesting, but that's okay. Besides that, though, the map is pretty huge. I, I will say, it's a big map. You fly like a slug, but, uh, you know, as to be expected, you are level 2. We're not going to, like, go zooming across the map. At any rate. However, the thing that holds it back a lot, and this is a really big factor in it, is that when you look at the map the quests go through objects like the markers like you can see the markers through mountains and stuff it makes it look really silly and goofy and it's hard to take the game seriously with that because there's no immersion in it and like a game like this like is gonna need immersion so the best way i think the dev can fix this fix this at least is to like have a button where it's like key sense all of the quests and whatever kind of like how the bog did and how dragon ball z final remaster did like, those are, like, prime examples. They improve it a lot. I don't know how hard it is to script, because I don't script, but... If you can do that, I'd make it a lot better. Because right now, this looks really silly, along with the graphics of the game. You know, it just makes it look goofy and childish, but hey... It, if, it would be not too bad if the gameplay was a little bit better, but it is what it is. And, yeah, statistics are your stats. It's multiplies instead of stats here, so keep that in mind. Though, from what I've seen so far, like, the first couple stats don't really make that much of a difference. So, unless it's like the forms are crazy OP, we'll see about that. If you haven't guessed already, the stupid time chamber is up at the commies lookout. You flop here, talk to him. He will say level 15 required. Though, if you linger too long, he'll ask you why you are here. So, just really silly because it's mr popo pecking order and speaking of the pecking order when you fly down to the city down here in the main city you will in fact see a dealer right here now he is the combo point dealer basically this game does have a pvp reward system to where pvp would seems like a viable option level up and actually really op because you can buy dragon balls 
double XP, a golden sword, a lot of any, a bunch of cool stuff. Like, if you PvP, it looks like easy, you know, easy game. That, or you can just farm an alt. Perhaps you can just alt farm, though. That might be slower depending on if you're really, really good or not. Because there is a PvP lobby system, like right over here. It's past uh, the loser Yamcha and the clapped Bulma. It's past her to the left of Bulma. You'll see some guy with a purple question mark. He'll be like, hey, come to my lobby in PvP. And that's how you do all the PvP stuff effectively, pretty much. At least later, right now, the like, game just released, so who knows. And yeah, as you saw, Yamcha, all the event stuff. And then this weird person right here just says hello and nothing else. Wow, level 20. Thank you so much. Yeah, right here, as you see. Level quest. This is the PvP stuff. So yeah, it, it seems really cool with the PvP. I don't PvP. I doubt I'll ever get into it. I just can't see myself taking Roblox fighting seriously. Besides, like, grinding levels or something. Because, you know, it's a little more cool. Anyways, other than that. Basically, that's pretty much it right now. Like, you get... It's, it's like every other Dragon Ball game, you haven't guessed. You go buy cool accessories and closings. You talk to clothes, like right here, talk to the clothing. And then you level up, get cool form, go do quest, go do another quest, get cool form, fight Roblox, easy game. Now, I would have done a video full guide in like text format as I usually do. But like this game is really simple. I, I doubt any of you will need that. You, it like literally has a level progression system where you just go from quest to quest to quest. Kind of like DBE. That's why I didn't make a new one. Because it is pretty much just a level progression. So it's super simple and you don't really need that much to get by on it. Just do the quests as you see them next to each other and you'll level up. Because that's how it was in Final Hope too. And it's really just the same thing. So just keep that in mind. It, just explore. Have fun with it. I mean... I don't know if I'll do any more on this because it's just a really silly game. Maybe though, it's, I just wish... I guess I expected more because two years of development. Because it's roughly the same map as it was two years ago. Like, it doesn't see much of anything new from what I remember. So hopefully as I play more, I'll see more. But until then, I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just hope... There's more to this than what there was two years ago. We'll see. Maybe I'm a hater, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, good luck grinding this goofy-ah game.